the fat controller was right. James grumbled dreadfully. Anyone would think, said Douglas, that Donald had his accident on purpose. I heard tell about an engine and some tar wagons. Shut up, said James. It's not funny. He didn't like to be reminded of his own accident. Well, 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 said Douglas. Surely, James, it wasn't a you. You didn't say. James didn't say. He slouched sulkily away. He's cross, sniggered the spiteful brake van. We'll try to make him crosser still. Hold back, giggled the trucks to each other. James did his best, but he was exhausted when they reached Edward Station. Luckily, Douglas was there. Help me up the hill, please, panted James. These trucks are playing tricks. We'll show them, said Douglas. Slowly but surely, the snorting engines forced the trucks up the hill. But James was losing steam. I can't do it! I can't do it! Lay it to me! shouted Douglas. The guard was anxious. Go steady! The van's breaking! The van was in pieces. No one had been hurt, and soon Edward came to clear the mess. The fat controller was on board. I might have known it would be Douglas, he said. Douglas was grand, sir, said Edward. James had no steam left, but Douglas worked hard enough for three. I heard him from my yard. Two would have been enough, said the fat controller. I want to be fair, Douglas, but I don't know. I really don't know. The fat controller was making up his mind about something, but that's another story.